Welcome back to the colouring zone. My name is Helena. So um, today I thought I would do a requested video. Um, so this was very kindly requested by Vader K. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Um, yeah, I mean, I just wanted to take this opportunity to also say that I do I do write down your requests, and I know sometimes I'm not as quick um, to respond as as others. Um, but you know, it, it's just one of those things, isn't it? But I do write them all down, um, and I do plan on you know doing you know all requests if I can. Um, so anyway, we'll get started. So I have swatched them out in a little book. Um, they are still wet. So these are the colours that we're going to be using. So sorry, I didn't even say the, the request. You'll probably see on the title of the video that it's a request. Um, to show how I do like a subtle water background. Um, now I found a page that I really wanted to do in Circle of Life. Um, you will have seen my recent buddy colour. Um, I think I think all three parts will be up by the time this video goes out. Um, so I did a collab and a buddy colour with the lovely gem from the Colour Cave. Um, so if you haven't checked those videos, I will I will link them down below. Anyway, so the page that we are going to be looking at is I did have it. <laughs> so you might be able to hear that I'm not um my voice is a little bit off. Um and that is unfortunately because I have COVID again. This is the third time. Um, which is a bit crazy. So anyway, um, so yeah, I do apologise if I do need to edit bits out because I'm coughing or something. Obviously, I will. I will do that because no one wants to hear that, do they? So the colours that I'm going to be using. So they are the Albert Durers. Now I've got two of the Magnus ones. Um, I do have the full 120 set of the Albert Durer by um, Faber Castell, um, but these are just bigger lead and. Um, I just picked them out because, you know, it was just easier to do it that way. Um, but anyway, so the colours that I've got are just down here. Um, so it is six colours that I'm using. Um, I haven't written out the numbers because I don't tend to do that. Um, I do apologise if that annoys anyone. Um, I mean, yeah, do, do you guys like having the numbers as well as the names? Please let me know in the comments below. It'll be interesting to see what you guys um, feedback with anyway so we will get started so um i'll move this one here out of the way and i will say which colors we're, we're using so i've just been randomly placing them um no rhyme or reason really just whatever colors i mean they all blend together quite well anyway um we'll start on this bit i'm just gonna see if i can zoom you in a bit more it's just a very dark dingy day today unfortunately so the lighting is not that great. I don't think I can make it any better either, to be honest. I think that's probably the best we're gonna get. Um anyway, so yeah, we'll um we'll get started. So yeah, I'm just literally just putting down um pencil. I mean, you know, if you don't have watercolours, obviously you can use coloured pencils to do this. It just might take a bit a little bit longer because you're having to blend them out. Um and you know these this is definitely a background for me even though it's within the shell um it is a background because i want these these little images to be quite bright and i suppose when you're thinking about placing color um it's thinking about what other colors are you going to be using to make them really pop so i'm yeah i'm not too bothered about having this super saturated because i know that these elements i want to make quite bright obviously i have got the shell aspect as well which i have also been doing in watercolor um but i do plan on using a mixture of pencils as well as watercolor on the main elements the fish and the seaweed and stuff like that so um yeah how are you all going how are you all doing i hope you're feeling okay and that your coloring is is you know you're enjoying your coloring um, it's just, oh, it's, honestly, guys, I'm, uh, I can't believe I got it the third time. I've been, like, really, really careful washing my hands. Obviously, I do work in healthcare, so I do, um, 
wear full PPE still. Um, but yeah, I, I still get it. <laughs> so this is the phthalo blue and this is the Magnus one of the Albert Dura. Now I'm going to go in with the Colbert turquoise and I'm literally just going to go over the top. I suppose the other thing to mention is that not to go too hard because, you know, they're not soft they're not they're not pencils um i suppose with any pencil you're going to get some texture um but with these these blend out so beautifully i don't have any of the super colors um of the karen dash i just don't own any and you know i tried these out and i really liked them i got a small set to start with and then um i think it was my parents that gifted them to me as a christmas or birthday present um I say that because I'm born on Christmas Day, so it could be either. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I just, yeah, it's crazy that I've got it for the third time. Um, I just, yeah, so I'm not allowed to work, um, which, you know, it's just, yeah, it's just one thing after the other, though, guys, if I'm honest. So I've had my toenail surgery because I had it in growing toenail. Um, like Thalo Green, which is like a common occurrence for me. I always get them um, ever since I was like 13. Um, but yeah, so I have my nail surgery and then I had a stomach bug shortly after. And then I did a test when we were staying at my in-laws. And um, yeah, I tested positive. It was just, oh, yeah. There's no restrictions in place at the moment, though, is there? But, I mean, I don't want to be passing it on to people, so we're not going to go out and, you know, my husband works from home, so that's not really so much of an issue, but um, it is hard, isn't it? It's really hard. So this one here is the light Dalo blue. Um, I'm just going to just put it in random places it really is very very simple this background this is nothing um complicated it's literally just laying the colors over each other and then just seeing how it um comes out <laughs> nothing um nothing too fancy um so we'll work on this one um do you know what? i might add some of the sailor blue actually just down here yeah i'm feeling a bit a bit groggy and you know not not that great but it is is one of those things and hopefully it won't be too long so i have to test myself again on the fifth and sixth day and then if i'm negative on those two then i can go back to work um so yeah it's just it's just not nice is it like we're really 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 stretched and then you know, I'm off and it's just not fair on my colleagues. And it's just, yeah, it's just not, it's not fair on my patients either. Um, it, it does make it, it does make it really, really difficult. Because I am patient facing, even though I work in the community. Um, yeah. So I'm just going in with the cobalt turquoise. I'm just going to go in the little nooks and crannies. The fiddly bits, as Jen would say. And let's just thing it out, fade it out. Yeah, I'm using one of my nice brushes actually to do this when I activate them. Um, it's the Raphael ones. I think that's how you say it. So that one there is the cobalt turquoise, and this is the light thalo blue. And I'm just going to go around. So yeah, my toe is really infected, so I'm on antibiotics for that. <laughs> I'm just falling apart, guys. I'm just falling apart. I suppose this isn't a colour in chat, but yeah, there's been a lot going on in my household. So um yeah, when I do a colour in chat I will um I will fill you in on all of the antics that's been going on. <laughs> So this is the light coal boy, coal, coal boy. <laughs> it's not, the light thalo green. Oh yeah, that's one thing to mention. I did, I did do them 
like incorrectly so these are actually the other way around just thought i'd mention that um if anyone's wondering so yeah i'm thinking about doing a distressed background for the background distressed background for the background yeah um and that was also a requested video um so i think i will do that separately um, I won't I won't do them in together because otherwise it will be quite long I would imagine. Is that a leaf? No. Right, I think I'm gonna speed some bits up guys because otherwise it's just gonna be a bit boring or I'll just edit it out if I'm really not saying anything and so we will I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around it this way now. Um, I think this might be my favourite colour ever. I love this colour. This is cobalt turquoise. Love it. Right, I'm going to put some phthalo green, I think, or emerald green, actually, um, in with this colour, just to change up a little bit. This is the phthalo blue, so I think I might add this here. I suppose it's just deciding on where you want, where you think things end. It's a bit of guesswork, isn't it? It's such a busy page, though, that I really wouldn't worry too much because even if you do cover something up that is potentially not meant to be a read, then, you know, with this busy page, you're not even going to notice. Um, so, yeah, really don't don't sweat it. Yeah, it's surprising that it doesn't actually take that long. It doesn't feel like it takes long. Um, I suppose when I go to edit, I realise how long things actually take me. Um, and Gem did make a really valid point, though. You know, us YouTubers, we edit and people don't... There's a certain expectation of how long things will take you. Um, I know I certainly got this when I was watching YouTube videos, I just think it takes me ages and it only takes them this amount of time when actually, obviously we edit and sometimes you notice and sometimes you don't, but actually, yeah, we, you know, there is a lot of time that's um, that's taken out. I'm not a particularly fast colourist either. Um, so, and I was meaning to put it on my, on the collab with um, Gem. I was meaning to write the actual, the time it took me. But I completely forgot about it. So I might put it in the description. Um, I'll find out the exact times it took me for each section in total. Um, I suppose I'd have to estimate a little bit because I don't always, I don't film from start to finish. But um, yeah, we can have it. I can definitely add that into the, onto the comments maybe. So this is the fun part. Right, so I'm going to zoom you out a little bit um, just because it might be a bit easier because I'm going to be getting to the water. I have got my disgusting rag to the side of me as well. And I think because I am right-handed, I'm going to go from left to right so then I'm not putting my 
hand in it and yeah we'll just um we'll just add it add the water and activate it so satisfying it really is and look how like well they blend All right, I'm going to put my water here, I think. I might not use my rag that much, to be honest, just because they're so similar, the colours. They all sort of blend in. If I was working on, like, you know, where the colours um, didn't necessarily match that well, then I would probably need to um, clean my brush off a lot more. But that's not the case with this. So we're all right. Missed that little bit look. See if I can get some colour from somewhere else. Oh, a little bit. Not too bad. There's always going to be bits um, that I miss. And it's not until you are filling in the other section with colour that you realise... And of course, you know, you can get a pencil and just go like that and get some colour that way. Um, you know, that is an option. Um, so where was that little? Yeah, I'll put it here. Ooh, it's a bit much, isn't it? If I just add it. There we go. Not too, not too worried. And um, this one. I would quite like to use my fine text on this page. My fine tech um, metallic watercolours for some accenting. that a bit of colour? Oh, it is. I don't know how that's got on there. Miss this little bit. Yeah, obviously this isn't this isn't um, watercolour paper, um, but it does handle water quite well, but you still can't be loading it on. Um, so just, yeah, always think about, th have a think about that, because just keep that in mind when you are um, putting water to your colouring books, particularly if you've got something on the other side. Um, if you're adding water, sometimes certain colours can tends to seep through. Um, so if you've got pencil, what I mean by that is if you've got coloured pencil on the other side, sometimes um, it can it can react. It's still in frame, yeah, still in frame. I just hope it's not too dark for you guys, and that you can see what it is that I'm trying to achieve in this background. Right, and then this is the last one. This is the first section that we did. Um, so let's just add water. No, oh, that's a bit too much. Sorry guys, you're gonna see my ugly rag. And that's the joy of working with watercolour, pencils or just um, more traditional watercolours is that you can just, you know, if you've added too much water, too much pigment, you can take it off, you can lift it off. Um, so it's very forgiving. Mm, let's just move over this way, I think. Right, 
right, so there we go. So really, really simple um, background. Obviously, it's not quite a background that I've done it on, um, but it is inside this shell. And um, I think I am going to do a background for this one, but it will probably be in Distress Inks. And I think I'm going to do it in pinks. Um, so, and as you can see, I mean, it's not, the paper's not really warped that much. It's still quite flat. Um, and if you can see it on the other side, it doesn't appear to be that um, that warped at all. It's sitting quite flat. Um, it doesn't bleed through. Um, so, yeah, that's my sort of subtle, simple um, how to do a watercolour background. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, this was kindly requested by um, Vida K. Um, so thank you very much, Vida, for um, for asking me to to do, to do this. Um, and I hope to see you in the next one. Please drop me a comment down below. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Happy colouring, everyone. Bye.